it's now time for baptism time when individuals get to declare before God before witnesses here on earth and before the heavenly host that they are on the Lord's side the side that's that that's already won the side that won at Calvary and as I present each individual I ask that you be kind enough to be in fervent prayer for each one I ask that you would keep ask God to keep them from falling ask God to help them to endure to the end ask God to help them to lead others to Jesus Christ themselves the first individual is going to be Gregory Celestine Gregory Celestine Gregor was born in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. As a child, Gregor went to the Baptist church every Sunday with his family. He sang in the children's choir and later in the youth turn choir. Around, turn around. Yeah. Gregor's Could family came way, to America in the year 2000. Just, uh, his family continued attending the Baptist okay. church. Gregor was baptized in the Baptist church when he was 10 years old. But when Gregor got to be about 18 years old, he stopped enjoying church as much. He didn't feel like he belonged. He felt like he was being judged. So he stopped going to church. Gregor focused on his studies and on his career, which he's doing well in. Four years ago, Gregor met Emmanuel. Is Emmanuel here? Would you stand up? Would you, and, and any family member, would you come up and be supportive of Gregory? So Emmanuel, um, he met her. She became his guiding light, along with her mother. Where's mommy? Oh, good. Okay. In helping Gregory to come back to God. After Gregory got engaged to Emmanuel, because he did, they met with an Adventist pastor who shone light on the word of God and helped Gregory to understand it. Emmanuel's mommy recommended the Planchet and Seventh-day Adventist Church and encouraged Gregory to attend here. He enjoys being at this particular church, the sense of community he finds here, the friendliness, the way the word is preached, all serve to make Gregory feel at home. Gregor wants to be baptized now to solidify his relationship with his God and to be on the same page with his fiance Emmanuel. Gregor wants to gain a sense of community when he gets to be a member here with fellow believers as he starts his new life with Christ. Gregor believes that God is calling him to help people. He's an x-ray technologist and he wants to help, he wants to talk to patients, to pray for those who desire prayer, to let them know that God has them, that there is nothing to fear. Gregory Celestine. We celebrate with Gregory and the family. Had the opportunity of meeting them a few weeks ago as they share their desire, himself and Emmanuel, to take their relationship to the next level. But the awesome lady that she is, Emmanuel made it clear that before he married to her, he had to marry to Jesus. And so he decided to come back to him, his first love. And I thank God for Gregory, a young man who has decided to give his heart back to Jesus. And so, Gregory, because you love Jesus, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the sweet Holy Spirit, let all of God's people say, Amen. The second individual, Maureen Poiser. Maureen, Maureen did not want to wait. She wanted to be baptized today. She did not wait to not want to wait another day. Here comes Maureen, and um, she might need some help. So 
Anybody here in the baptismal study or anybody supportive of Maureen, feel free to come up here and join Maureen. Okay? So... While she's coming, I just want you to know that baptismal study takes place... Oh, Alicia. Okay. Alicia. Uh, the whole church, praises God, where is her mommy? Uh, she, this was supposed to be a surprise for mommy. Where is mommy? Where? I don't see her. Okay. Because today's mommy's birthday, boys and girls. <laughs> Today is mommy's birthday. And Alicia was born and raised in Davie, Florida. Her mom was born in Haiti and her dad in South India. As a small child, Alicia remembers going to the Catholic Church on Sundays. But when she was about seven years old, her family started attending the Plantation Seventh-day Adventist Church. Alicia is a senior in high school. She expects to graduate not only as a high school, uh, get a high school diploma, but to graduate with a technical degree in EKG on June 2nd. <laughs> From McFadder Technical High School. She plans to major in computer science when she starts college this summer. Her goal is to be a software developer when she graduates from college. Alicia went through a lot last year. The stress took a toll on her life and made her feel very disconnected with her God. However, with time, Alicia began to realize that God is the one who is the answer to overcoming her trials and tribulations. That she should get closer to God rather than distancing herself from him. When Elisha, Elisha turned to God and asked him for help, praying and crying as she did, God opened a doorway for her, and through, the, through that door, the path of faith and healing. Now, Elisha wants to take her, take her next step in faith and give her life to her comforter, her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. She wants God to prepare her for her next chapter, entering adulthood. Is the world ready for Elise, Elisha? <laughs> Listen, guys, Jesus is the light of Elisha's world. When everything seems dark, she plans to spread the word to others who don't know Jesus. Our friend, Elisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a, what a birthday present. And uh, you should know, church, that there are some folks who are, who are up front who had to rearrange their, their, their programming and their day just to be here, that they wouldn't miss this. You know, she serves our church as one of our floor program managers, and uh, she ensures that the the trains run on time, the speakers run on time, and, and I notice how she does it without respect of persons, and I, even, even the past is going to be a time when she's running the show, but we thank God for her, amen, amen. and her commitment, take her relationship to the next level. Alicia, because you love Jesus, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the sweet Holy Spirit. Let all of God's people say, Amen.
Our third individual is Maureen Poiser. Maureen Poiser. As I started telling you, Maureen would not miss this for the world. She just wanted to be baptized today. She didn't want to wait another day. So with some assistance, she is um, going to be baptized. So that's Maureen. And um, I want you to know that we have baptismal study both on, in person and online. So feel free to take advantage of either one. Or both. So Marines coming down. There you go. Amen, 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 amen. She just wants to be baptized. Praise God for Maureen. Maureen was born in the rural parish of Westmoreland, Jamaica. She was raised in an Adventist home. She remembers being very active in church. The opportunities that she had to sing in the choir and to praise the Lord. So here is Maureen, situated with help. When Maureen was 20 years old, she moved from the country to the city of Kingston. Had a baby, stopped being involved in church activities, started working part-time on the Sabbath because work required it. Her spiritual life dwindled. But then her mommy died in 2018, and Maureen decided to change her life. She remembered that her life was much better when she was in church. She concluded that there was nothing out in the world of eternal value. In addition, Maureen longs to see Jesus face to face and to meet her mom once again if they are both faithful. Maureen has waited so long, she says, to come back to God. She doesn't want to wait anymore. That's why she's being baptized today. She wants to be baptized now. By God's grace, Maureen desires to be the best follower of Jesus Christ that she can possibly be. Maureen plans to encourage her family, her friends, those with whom she interacts, to follow the Lord, to change their lives, to be baptized, to be ready for our Lord's return. Maureen Poiser. God, celebrate with Maureen. Uh, as a Jamaican, I hear you're from Westmoreland. They, they tell me that the people from the West is the best. But I'm from the East, so w what am I? Well, <laughs> but I know you're making the best decision, Maureen, and God loves you, and you love Jesus. And it's because you love Jesus, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the sweet Holy Spirit, let all of God's people say, Amen. Amen. Ready? 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 Got her? Got her? Bring her down. Bring her down. Bring her down. Bring her down. Okay. Okay. Got her. Got her. Thank you. while she's being taken to the back to change. I just want you to know the next scheduled baptism is on April 15, just four weeks from today, April 15. And um, then June, 7, June 17. Next Sabbath, we will have a, another individual added by prof her professional faith 
and we'll have an anointing by Pastor Mike Razan, and, um, but that's next Sabbath. Anointing of the individuals who were baptized today and of the, and the profession of faith. We thank God that we can be, we can experience these miracles of people being born again. We should never take it for granted. The Bible says that heaven rejoices when just one. And we had three. There's a whole lot of rejoicing. Come on, say amen. And I thank God for his continued work through the ministry of Elder Alex. And friends, the best friend to have is Jesus, and the best time to have him is now. And so, Father, we thank you so much that we could have been witnesses to this miracle of lives being born again. We pray that someone here was inspired, yea, motivated to make this decision, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.